Hello, this is the Greater Lagos Region, and I'm your host, Love Ikuku Oyedoku. The Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sawunlu, has said that he would run an inclusive government. The governor said he strongly believes that just as diversity propels progress, Lagosians must propose to make diversity birth prosperity for the state. A greater Lagos is indeed rising. And this is the Greater Lagos Vision. Welcome once again. I'm Lovi Kuku Oyeduku. This episode features Lagos Governorship Election. Sawono receives certificate of return, says next four years will be more rewarding. Infrastructure, Lagos Rail Mass Transit, Red Line project to become reality before end of first tenure. Lagos government signs MOU with fintech company e-transact on management of setbacks, open spaces. Details of these and many more when we return. Please stay with us. Let's get started. Lagos State Governor Babayide Sawulu has disclosed that his second term mandate was won on the strength of Lagos diversity irrespective of faith, creed, or tongue. The governor who stated this while receiving a certificate of return from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared that it was time for the state to move forward and forge new frontiers for its progress. It was another great moment for Governor Babajide Sawunlu, his deputy, Dr. Hamzat Obafemi, as INEC hands them the certificate of return for a second term in office. The governor won the March 18th election in a landslide victory, polling 762,134 votes to defeat his rivals. They were joined by their wives, cabinet members, and leaders of the All Progressive Congress, APC, to witness the epoch-making event, which took place at the INEC office in Yaba, Lagos. Congratulations, sir. Sawolo declared that he won his second term mandate on the strength of Lagos diversity. The governor expressed gratitude to the electorate for giving him and his party an overwhelming victory and renewing the mandate to lead the state for another four years. Four years ago, the Almighty God gave me the privilege for the first time. Today, I stand before you. I'm older, I'm wiser, I'm more experienced, and certainly more committed to ever deliver on the contract that binds me, my deputy, and the good people of Lagos State. You have been with us every step of this journey, providing feedback, sharing your opinions, holding us accountable. And as we commence the next phase of this journey, that will take us to 2027 by, great, by the grace of Almighty God, I want, to continue to, I want you to continue to hold us accountable as your elected servants, as your servant leader in Lagos. We have made promises. Indeed, we have also delivered on so many of those promises. In the last few months, you have been, you've seen a lot of communication around what we've been able to modestly accomplish over the last almost four years now, in line with our team's agenda. Now, as you take, as you take the walk, to a new level of performance, we will complete all our ongoing projects that we've started and will ensure that new ones are funded, they are prioritized, and they will be delivered. This is our solemn promise to you all. He urged the residents to continue to uphold the ideas of hard work, tolerance, innovative energy, quest for excellence, which he said united and bound Lagosians together. Let us never forget that we are Lagosians first and foremost, united by ideas that the mega city of our status and buildings. We are hardworking, we are tolerant, we have a lot of diversity amongst us, we are innovative with a lot of energy, and we have an unending quest for excellence. Every day, regardless of where in Lagos we live, 
or what our mother tongue or dialect is, or what God asks us to worship. We are all set out from the hope and expectation that our hustle will pay off one day. That today will be better than our yesterday, and indeed tomorrow will be a better today for all of us. These ideals and aspirations are the things that truly matter to us, over and above any of the differences that may exist amongst us. So I will further made a passionate appeal to the residents to remain law-abiding, promote citizenship, and fulfill their civic obligations, including obeying laws, paying taxes, and being brothers keepers. I want to thank the leadership of INEC for doing this very, very big assignment for our nation. And to all of you who have witnessed the certificate of return that have just been handed over to all of us, to begin for us to see and expect a bigger and a better Lagos, which is rising in our life, which will be, in the next four years, something of joy and happiness that indeed all of us will be glad of. God bless Lagos State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And as we say, Ibega Ipineko. Thank you very much. Governor Sawulu promised never to take people's confidence in him for granted. Everybody has a right you know, to continue to coexist peacefully, in harmony, with understanding and given tenant for the rule of law and for being law abiding. You know, that's what Agosha is all about. And that's who we are. The ability for us to continue to be resilient and live peacefully. And this simple but more important event has further confirmed you know, to us that we can indeed live peacefully and uniquely amongst ourselves. You know, like we said, elections are over politicking is over, governance, which is a critical state of purposeful leadership, is what is on the beat now, is what is on course. And we believe, like we've assured Lagosians, that we will even do you know, a more bigger job, quicker, faster, and better than we have done in the last four years. For us, is to have a, uh, is to be gracious in, 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 in victory and ensure that we can accommodate everyone. I've reiterated it earlier today, and I'm saying it again, our government will be an inclusive one, it's ready to listen, ready to pick up whatever additional advice that might be out there from anybody. And we're willing to seek to it, to sit down, and be able to give everybody an opportunity to come in and play the governance of Lagos with us. He also paid glowing tribute to the president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, for laying solid foundations for the future generations to build upon. Lagos State Governor Babajide Somulu has assured Lagosians that the construction of the Red Line Rail Project would be completed and ready for use before the end of his first time in office. Sawulu so restated this while fielding questions from journalists shortly after an inspection tour of the project and vehicular overpass bridges at Yaba and Oyingbo train stations. The inspection tour of the Red Line Rail project kicked off at the Agege station. Accompanied by some of his cabinet members, the governor was on ground to get updates on the level of work done. From Agege to Mushi, Yaba, and Oyingo stations, the focus is on the physical infrastructures. Looking satisfied with the level of work, Sawunlu stated that the Ibute Meta vehicular bridge overpress was 75% to 80% completed, while that of Yaba was 95% completed. In front of um, the Red Line 2 stations, particularly the Yaba train station and the um, Uimbo train station, as you can see, we started with Yaba. So we have a train station there, and we also have and, um, a, a bridge, a vehicular bridge overpass. Um, with the train station, we believe we are about um, 75 to 80% completion, and the bridge 
Um, it's about 90, 95 percent, but the adjoining road, you know, um, around Yaba still needs to be cleaned up. So in total, we think it's about 90, 85 to 90 percent, you know, um, there. And we're satisfied with the level of work, both by step construction and um, Messrs. Greenberg, who are doing the bridge there. Um, you could see also there a lot of um, commercial activity, especially all around the rail track. And part of the, the essence of this visit is for us to continue to um, do a lot of advocacy for um, traders on that track, that um, the track will be fully walled off you know, when, when the stations are completed. And you saw from um, the turnout of, of, of uh, citizens there that they're all living in peace, peaceful coexistence, you know, amongst all of our ethnic nationals in Yaba, Teju Shu, you know, and, and all the environments there. Um, and coming also here, which is the um, Uimbo interchange by Apapa Road, um, the station is over there. The station is also about 95% um, completed. You know, that's the station over there. It's just doing the, the pedestrian bridge work. Um, but the overpass, I mean, the, the vehicle overpass, which is where we're standing, um, in our view, um, still need a few things to be done, especially with the adjoining roads and the final lane of the bridge itself. So we say this one is about 70 75% because all the columns and all the beams have been completed, it's really more around um, um, to, to do the asphalting, to do the street light, and to complete you know, um, the adjoining um, roads that are, that are beneath here. So, so we are also still satisfied. We believe, um, you, you probably didn't notice, while we're passing the Epitemeda station, the red line trains were parked you know, um, on the, on the right-hand side from Yaba, we could see the train, trains themselves, you know, so they are, they are tucked in and packed away, you know, from the track they're, they're by the Epitemeta station there. So we believe we are still on track. You know, we believe that it should be ready uh, before the end of, um, um, depending on when we want to commission it, uh, before the end of um, our first term, um, we'll probably just be doing a lot of testing, you know, signalization and all of it, because this rail track will also be working with the um, the Nigerian Railway Corporation, which is the train that will from Lagos, from Ebutimeta here, all the way to Ibadan. So we need to be able to harmonize um, a lot of um, um, signalization between um, the our own rail infrastructure and the Nigerian Railway Corporation rail infrastructure. The governor strongly holds that after the completion of the projects, accidents such as the recent train bus collision in Ikeja would never reoccur. Um, you can see, and as you can see, um, all of these bridges are very, very important because of what we saw. The unfortunate you know, um, train bus accident that we saw um, um, about two and a half weeks ago, um, where at... Shogunle, you know, there was um, a grid crossing. And, and so all of these bridges that we're building, apart from the fact that they are full vehicular bridges, is also to forestall, you know, train and vehicle and passenger needed to, you know, um, have any form of interaction. So this is the highest grade of ensuring that you can completely um, um, remove any contact with rail. That's when you build a complete you know, um, alternative mode of transportation for passengers, for pedestrians, and for vehicles. You know, and that's what we've seen here. And so you can see that we have this similar bridge, you know, not only in the Putemeta here, in um, Old Yaba, what's this place now? At Papa Road Junction, we have another one at Yaba. We have another one at uh, Mushi, Mushi to, that crosses to um, um, Onipan, you know, and we have the Keja along. You know, um, we're also building one federal government at um, Ayola, um, Coca. You know, so that is also um, going on. So there are one or two others that will still need to be built. You know, in the course of um, the coming um, years ahead.
Sawunlu stated that efforts would be intensified to educate and enlighten traders of the dangers of being on the right of way of the Red Line Rail. The 37 kilometer railroad is built to run from Agbadu to Marina, with 13 stations in Agbadu, Iju, Agege, Ikeja, Moritola Mohamed International Airport, MMIA Domestic, Oshodi, Mushin, Yaba, Ebute Meta, Ido, Ebutero, and Marina. Lagos State Governor Babajide Somulu has described the construction of the Oba Shekumadu Road in Ikorodu as a thank you gift for electorates in Ikorodu. Sawolu spoke during the inauguration of the newly upgraded road. The inauguration of the newly upgraded Oba Sekumade Road in Ikokadu, Ikorodu Division, saw the residents into spontaneous jubilation in a show of appreciation to Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu for fulfilling his pledge. <laughs> Sawolu commissioned the infrastructure which now provides easy access to residents and industrial areas in Ibeshi, Igbogbobeeku, Ebute Ikokadu, Ikorodu Town, and Ikokadu Mega Jetty Terminal. The governor also rehabilitated the failed sections of the TOS Bensi Road covering a stretch of 500 meters. So is vehicular congestion on the T.O. Bensi Road, a comprehensive junction improvement project, was carried out by the state government to diffuse traffic towards Ikurudu roundabout. The intervention saw the busy road upgraded from a single lane to rigid concrete draw carriageway, thereby improving connectivity and bringing relief to commuting public plying the roads. This road, like KBC had said, is not only strategic, is important to the entire community of Ikurudu Kingdom. Right from Ogoloto Junction on the Lagos Ikurudu Road, when we're coming, up onto this junction where we are, yeah. And you can see all of the infrastructure that is here. MPA has a container terminal. Dangote has a terminal here. We have a big jetty terminal here. And from TOS Benson, all the way to Ibeche. We have another jetty terminal at Ibeche. And so you can see that this is a very strategic artery road that opens up Ikurudu Kingdom, opens up Ikurudu Township, you know, into other parts of this division. Sawolu described the commissioning as a thank you gift for the electorate in Ikurudu Division for turning out as the second largest vote number that made his party or Progressive Congress APC to win the last gubernatorial election. To say big, big, big thank you is to say big thank you to everyone in Ikorodu, Atonile, Atalejo, Bukwini Parapata, Lawa Kiyo, and our thanks knows no bound. Ikorodu has indeed been good to all of us. Ikorodu has continued to remain a place of reference, a place of heritage, a community that always, always, always stand outstanding. Ikorodoga, Mokinyo, Ikorodoga, Ikorodoga, aha, Kifa mi ba le ma ko le ni mufin kini be yen, mufin tu pe lo gubo ingo ni o, eshe goni, you are the beacon and you are the light. Don't worry, other divisions might want to compete with you, but we know where Ikorodo is. Special advisor to the Governor on Works and Infrastructure, Engineer Aramidi Adeyoye, said the upgrade of the Oba Sekumade Road to a rigid pavement war carriageway did not only solve traffic problems experienced on the highway, but also solved 
flooding issues threatening adjoining residential communities. In 2009, when we came on board, arising from several complaints by the commuters on this road, on the condition of the roadway, coupled with the perennial flooding experienced by the adjoining communities due to the inadequate drainage system, the present administration decided to take the bull by the horn. This was after extensive engineering investigations and tests of the underlying soil by adopting a more expensive but more sustainable and enduring pavement as against what the flexible pavement that we had. And of course, we then decided to have a continuously reinforced concrete pavement for the reconstruction work. It's worthwhile to mention that the goal of this project was also to resolve the perennial flooding issues around Ogolonto, Omologede, Ipakodo, and the environs. The huge votes turned out from Mikorodu, according to residents, is a way to reciprocate the governor's gesture towards renewing infrastructure in the town. As part of measures to curb unregulated development, manage setbacks and open spaces, as well as improve the beautification of the environment, the Lagos State Government has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with eTransact, a foremost fintech company. At the signing of the MOU, the Special Advisor to Governor Babajide Sawulu on EGIS and Planning Matters, Dr. Olajide Babatunde, said the initiative was a public-private partnership aimed at improving accountability as well as the IGR of Lagos State. It only takes a visionary uh, leader like uh, Governor Babajide Olushola Sonwulu for things like this to happen. And also, I mean, uh, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, who actually established the agency uh, about 22 uh, years ago. You know, the journey of a uh, thousand miles only starts with uh, one step. And, you know, it's always important to take that step or baby steps so that we we'll get it right. So initially, um, this is something that we thought, you know, I mean, government can do alone. But, I mean, eventually we realized that uh, through public-private partnership, you know, things like this are possible. For his part, the managing director of eTransact, Niyi Toluwa Lokbe, said his organization was partnering with the state government for social development. He also added that the project would develop solutions on data, enumeration, reorder setbacks, put incidental open spaces in an orderly manner, among other benefits. That's all we have for you on this episode of the Greater Lagos Vision on Plus TV Africa. I'm Lovey Kuku Oyedoku. Bye for now. <laughs>